Hello, it's Penny. Welcome to our hip opening yoga flow. As always, make sure that you talk with your doctor prior to beginning a workout program. If something doesn't feel good, don't do it. Yoga should feel good. We should have a soft base, nice deep breath. We meet ourselves where we're at, so please allow yourself to simply breathe deep or to make any modifications to any of the movements. We are gonna start in a seated position. I'm gonna sit cross-legged. If you're more comfortable lengthening those legs out, please do. We're nice and tall in the spine, so it may feel good to elevate your hips up a bit. And go ahead and just move your body, whatever needs to move, and then we'll settle in. Just take a few moments to come in. Notice bodily sensations, your breath, your energy, and then maybe your mind. Be calm, busy, wherever we are. Just meet yourself where you are at. with our breath. Fingertips press down, take a big breath in, and then on the exhale, hands to heart center, just simply hinge forward until you feel that opening in your hips. Coming back up again, fingers down, inhale up, exhale, hands to heart center, Hinging forward, just feeling that opening, bottoms pressing down, and hinging up two more times. Inhale, exhale, folding forward. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. Slowly come back up. Fingertips down, spine long. Open up the side body. Let's so reach up and over. Gaze can be center up or down. And release, switching sides. Continue that. Bottom is grounded. Fingers reach up. Should feel very nice opening up that side body. You're floating, feeling your own perfect pace. Evening yourself out. Come center. Take your hands behind your back. You can hook your thumbs, open up your chest. Look up, expand. Take a few deep breaths right here. And then gently release. Cross your legs the opposite way. Again, nice and tall. Maybe those hips are elevated. Inhale up. Exhale, hinge forward. It may feel very different on this side. Coming back up tall. Inhale up. Exhale, hinging forward. Two more times. Just feel that gentle opening through your hips. One more time. Big inhale up. Exhale, hinging from those hips. And coming back up center. Fingers down, side opening flow. It's flowing side to side. What's feeling good for your body today? 
hips ground as those fingers reach. We got energy through those fingers. Maybe shutting your eyes. Whatever you'd like, it just helps bring us in. Taking notice. Hold it center. Let's open and expand that chest. Hooking the thumbs, maybe taking those palms together. Looking up slightly. Feeling those shoulder blades go to the spine and then down towards your bottom. Release down. We're gonna come onto our hands and knees into tabletop. Fingers are spread apart, everything is stacked. Knees and hips, wrists and shoulder. Let's start our cat and cow. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull the belly in, round your spine. Continue that. Inhale, open. Space between your shoulders and your ears. Exhale and round. A few more times. Really feeling all that space opening in your vertebrae. One more time. Inhale, open. Exhale and round. Come back to neutral. Open up those knees. Let's pull back into our first child's pose. Hands walk out. Now you can wiggle your hips a little here, side to side to allow some hip opening. When you're ready, we're gonna tuck the toes, meeting in down dog. Knees are nice and bent, ears between your upper arms. Maybe we start pedaling out those heels. Maybe sticking those hips out a little bit side to side. What is feeling good? We're gonna hold down dog, upside down B. Belly pulls towards the spine. You can shake your head, yes and no, strong arms. Take a few deep breaths all the way into that belly. Now take your gaze between your hands, step your feet to your hands, forward fold, everything hangs. Let your torso get really heavy, grab your opposite elbow, maybe sway side to side. What is opening? Gently release, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, nice slow reverse swan dive all the way up, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Standing tall at the very top of our mat. Take your hands to heart center. Let's step back into high lunge with the right leg. So we're stepping back. Pressing that hip forward. Coming to cactus arms. Expanding your chest. Holding here. Hands back to heart center. Hands come down and frame your front foot. Step back a little lower. Hold right here. Hip is melting towards your mat. Maybe you have blocks by your sides. Take your right arm down, open the left arm, twist up. Keep breathing. Deep breath, we can look up, center, or down. Now bring your hand back, bring it to the inside. Walk your foot out just a little more. Let that hip melt a little more towards the mat. Keep breathing here, really opening up your hip flexor. Now we're gonna drop that leg down right above the kneecap. You may wanna pad that kneecap. Stay right here, lift your chest and breathe. Again, getting deep into the hips, breathing. Two more breaths. 
Now stay right there. Walk your right hand out a bit. Take your left arm, open up, hold right here. Keeping that breath. Maybe we're reaching out, bending the back leg and connecting, or just staying in any version of this. Again, you are right above the kneecap. Keep opening and breathing. And we're gonna release down, gently come out, walk your foot in, hands frame, tuck the back toe, lift. And we're just gonna step those feet together, forward fold, let everything hang. Shake it out, maybe grab opposite elbows, sway side to side again. Relax down, inhale, half lift, flat back, Exhale, full. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up nice and slow. Exhale, hands to heart center. Return to mountain. I'm just gonna come to the opposite side of my mat for an example for you. Mountain pose, take that big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. This time our left leg is going to step back into high lunge. Heels up and we're actively pushing that left hip forward. Hands at heart center. It may feel good to open up cactus arms, opening the chest, but still keeping those rib cages hugging together. Feeling the strength in this pose right here, strong and steady. Hands come back to heart center. We're gonna frame your front foot. Step back a little deeper. Hold right here, letting that hip melt into your mat. Now the left hand comes down, the right arm opens up. Maybe we take a half bind. We can look up center or down. Hold and breathe. Getting that nice rotation. Feel the feet grounding, energy through your fingertips reaching up. We're gonna release down. Take both hands to the inside. Walk your foot out and let your hip melt even closer to the mat. Keep breathing. Fluid breath, soft face. Now we're slowly gonna lower down. Remember you're above the kneecap, you can pad the knees. Hold right here, maybe walking. Your foot out a little bit wider towards the edge of the mat, hold, breathe. Every exhale, melting closer to the mat. We're gonna take that right arm, open up, and again, we're gonna take any part of this. Maybe we just bend that back leg up, and that's enough, or we keep it down. And we're able to reach around, grab the foot, opening the chest, opening the hip flexors. Keep breathing. Feeling really nice. And wherever we're at, we're gonna come back out. We're gonna walk that foot in, brain, tuck that back toe, lift up. Now we're gonna just step back into a forward fold, let everything hang. Heavy torso. Maybe swaying side to side. Release down, inhale, half lift. Exhale, 
exhale, fold. Inhale, really slow, reverse small dive. All the way up, gathering in all that good stuff. Exhaling, hands to heart center. So let's pause. Take a few deep breaths in, big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Two more, big breath in. Exhale, one more time. Deep breath in. Exhale. We're going to find our balance here. Let's start with our left foot, rounding it. Big toe, pinky toe, and heel. Nice and grounded. We're going to tiptoe. We're going to lift that leg up. Foot is flexed. Balancing pigeon. Cross, open, and have a seat. Maybe keeping those hands at heart center or flying, engaging that upper back. Just keep your breath. Sinking back, your foot is flexed, the toe is towards the knee, protecting the knee. Can you sink a little lower? Keeping that breath, holding. Hands back to heart center. Come up, let's come out intentionally the way we came in. Slowly lowering down. Shake it out, mountain pose, big breath in. Exhale, ground your right foot. Tiptoe the left. Remember it starts with the feet, Pada Bandha, our root lock. Big toe, pinky toe, heel. We float the leg up. Press those palms together. And we're slowly gonna cross, balancing pigeon. Foot is flexed, toes towards the knee. We sink down. Maybe we keep a little pressure with those palms, activating our abdominals. We fly, working those posture muscles. Feeling the upper back and the back of the shoulders ignite. Maybe sinking down a little more. Few more breaths. Hands come back to heart center. Gently come up. Slowly come out. Intentionally shake it out. Nice. Now we're going to come back to a seated position. And if you want any kind of padding or props, please grab them. Scoot our bottom back. Feet come together, knees relax down. We're nice and tall, and maybe right here is our pose, or we could take those blocks, put them under our knees so that we can relax down. Using sinking breath, we're gonna take a big breath in, and then we're gonna exhale, fold forward. Big breath in, exhale. Fold forward. You may feel good to wrap your fingers around your toes, to take your upper arms in the side. You may even like to walk those hands out. We're feeling this in the groin and in the inner thighs. Hold right here, keep breathing. You can shut your eyes. Every exhale, softening in. Deep, fluid breath. Pranayama, our life force, guiding us through our practice. A few more deep breaths in and out. Slowly hinge up. We're gonna lengthen the legs out now. And again, this is wherever it's comfortable for you. It may feel good just to sit up really tall right here and to stay right here. If you're comfortable, we're just gonna exhale, walk ourselves forward, and then just relax in, feeling this a little more through those inner thighs. 
Again, big exhale. See if you can soften shoulders, jaw, your neck. What areas are still holding on to something? Try to let them soften. Taking this time for you, self-care. One more breath. And slowly bring yourself up. Now we can leave our legs out or we can bend our left leg in. Nice and tall. Now we're gonna keep our torso nice and lined up and out. We're gonna go through that side body, just flowing through, trying to keep our bottom grounded. Inhaling, reaching towards the toe. And then exhaling and coming up. So my shoulders in line with my toe here. I'm just sliding down. And then gently coming up. Two more times. Yeah, maybe shutting the eyes. One more time. And release. Switch, lengthen out that leg. Bend the other leg in, feet are flat, nice and tall. And again, I'm gonna turn, so I'm in line with my leg. My shoulders in line. I'm just gonna exhale, ah, really getting a nice opening through that side body. And then gently coming up. Again, opening through the side body. And coming up, two more times. One more time. And releasing. And coming back to that cross-legged position that we started with. You have a lot of sensation in your hips. Stay here. If not, we're gonna move into fire lock. So feet are flexed. We're gonna stack our shins. So if the shins are nice and stacked. Again, we can stay right here. Or we can exhale and just start to hinge forward release down. So wherever you can relax, shake out those shoulders, soften your head, take a few deep breaths in and out. Every exhale, softening closer to the ground, feeling those hips really get nice and open. Soft. 
taking breath into those hips. Walk yourself up, nice and tall, open up the upper back, palms forward, up into that pillar stretch, side to side, oh, feeling so good, feel those hips ground as the palms reach. Reach to the sky, exhale down. Shake out those shoulders. Let's do a few neck circles to the front. Ear to shoulder, chin to chest, ear to shoulder. Two more. And slowly bring your head up center. We're going to uncross, we're going to lie all the way down. So use your belly, lie all the way down. And once you're there, come into a full body stretch. Reach your hands, point your toes. Then we're going to hug our right knee into our chest. Hold it right there. Hands can be under the thighs if you're taking care of your knees. Circle out your foot. And then go the opposite direction, circling. Point and flex. And release. Now we're going to hug that leg above and below the kneecap, just a little bit over and then towards the opposite armpit. So you feel it deep in your bottom. Hold right there and breathe. You can shut your eyes, feel your shoulder blades really connecting with the mat. And giving yourself a self massage here. Opening up the hips so we can be more at ease. And slowly come center. Lengthen that leg up. Hands are behind the thighs. We're just going to come up as long as we can and we're going to point and flex our foot a few times with that lengthen leg. You can, you can bring it a little closer in towards your chest. And then gently release. Back into that full body stretch. Reach your hands, reach your toes, get so long. We're gonna exhale. Let's bring the opposite leg in this time. The left knee in. Hug it in. Again, hands can be behind the thighs or around the shins. Let's circle out that ankle. Nice mobility through that ankle joint. And then go the opposite direction. Point and flex away and towards your knee a few times. And then release. Hug that leg just gently across, so above and below the kneecap. Ooh, and you can play with the angle of this one. Where you feel like it needs a little release, hold it there. And eyes can shut, feel the body just getting heavier and heavier into the ground. Come 
center, lengthen that leg up. Hands behind the thigh. Point and flex your foot a few times. Now bend the other leg in, hug both knees into your chest, do a gentle rock side to side, pressing that low back down. And if it feels good with the knees together, hands behind the thighs, make circles, massaging out that low back. Circles can be small, they can be big. Hold center, circle the opposite direction. Take the legs out wide, heels up for happy baby. You can yogi hook the big toe or hold on to the outside. You can even just stay hugging right behind the thighs. Maybe do a little rock side to side. Or it may feel good to take those feet together. Hug in. Stay still, rock. What does your body need? See if you can still feel the tailbone all the way up through your shoulders, pressing down into the mat. And gently release. We're just gonna go ahead and come into Shavasana. Final relaxation on the ground. So palms are up, shoulders are down. Lengthen out those legs, let the toes roll out. And just let your whole body Relax and soften down. We're gonna stay here for a few minutes, taking in all the benefits of our practice. Opening up the body, creating ease, deep breath to calm our minds, to activate our rest and restore nervous system. Breath returns to normal. bring awareness back, wiggle fingers, toes. Take your time coming out of Shavasana. Knees hug into the chest. You can roll to that right side. Stay in that fetal position for a second. And slowly use your arms to push up. We'll meet back in a seated position. Palms can be up or down. Think length in the spine. Let's do some slow neck circles. Just again, loosening out, releasing that neck area. We'll bring the 
head up center, hands to heart center, shut your eyes. And just take note of anything that's shifted. Every time we come to our mat, something shifts, body, mind, spirit. Maybe notice you feel a little more grounded in your seat or just a little more at ease seated after opening up your hips. We'll take one more deep breath in. Maybe an audible exhale. And we'll end this practice with namaste. The light in me respects the light in you. Namaste. How incredible does yoga feel? Hopefully your hips are feeling nice and open. Thank you so much for joining. This practice is really good to do, especially if you've done any type of athletic events like hiking or working out or playing sports. It's, or even just if you've sat a lot lately, right? We're at, we're at home right now, we've been sitting a lot. So good to open up those hips. Remember, you can do these videos again and again and again. Thank you so much for joining. Drink lots of water, sleep well, be well. Till next time.